My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a real treat for us today, a 1937 Ford. This is an all steel, real 1937 Ford. $140,000 was spent building this custom hot rod. And I got a lot, a lot of great things to tell you about it. It speaks for itself. It has a nice timeless look. Uh, it's comfortable, reliable. We got a box full of documentation, a photo album, with, I don't know, 100 or more pictures of the restoration, all the uh, information, detailed specs, you know, what spark plugs, belts, uh, the type of paint, everything will come with this car. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read some of the information, study the pictures top to bottom, and you'll find a price tag along with the monthly finance option at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Okay, a real nice elderly couple just brought this car in to us. He drove it here from a couple hours away. He had this car built. He spent $140,000 for real 13 years ago. That would be at least $200,000 uh, in today's times if you went to a shop and duplicated this car. Uh, it was done 13 years ago. They put 22,000 miles on this car. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it was done a year ago. It looks like it has 2,000 miles on it. Uh, so they took excellent care of it. Now to me that's impressive. They drove this car. He thought nothing of it to drive it here. Usually people call me, yeah, I'm gonna bring my car, I'll have it flat bedded down to you, or can you come get it with your trailer? They drove it and thought nothing of it. It's a car you can get in and drive and enjoy. It's comfortable and reliable. Um, so underneath, obviously the body was taken off the frame, it has a whole new chassis. It's a custom box frame with tubular supports in the middle, it's all powder coated. Up front is a Mustang II independent suspension, tubular control arms, coil over adjustable shocks, sway bar, rack and pinion steering. Uh, in back is custom made leaf springs. Of course, the shocks were replaced. And look how they got the stance. They got the stance just perfect. Wheels don't rub. Uh, it's got a nice dual exhaust system with polished Magnaflow mufflers, stainless steel. Uh, brake system, of course, was all replaced as disc in front, drum in back. You look up at the motor, just a nice clean motor, high torque starter, chrome oil filter, uh, chrome flywheel cover. Has a 700 R4 overdrive automatic transmission. Custom made drive shaft goes back to a Ford 9 inch rear end with 373 Posi gears. So this thing's got some giddy up and go, but with the overdrive, it'll just cruise down the highway real nicely. Composite fuel tank. So everything under this car, every clip, clamp, every component was replaced underneath this car. The metal floors are beautiful, clean metal, and everything under here is either painted or powder coated. Uh, so it looks really, really nice. Everything was done properly, I guess the most important thing. The lines are run neatly. It was a, a, a good installation. Now let's check out the body. And I will uh, we'll scan some of those pictures as showing this stripped down to bare metal and how clean it was and the extent they went through uh, to build this car. So this is called the Trunk Back uh, 37 Ford. All steel, it's not been chopped. This is the original body. The roof. Excellent, straight, it's not wavy, it's all metal. There's no vinyl insert, it's just all metal. Up here, I think this would have had a cowl, I think, a cowl that opens, that's been filled in. If it did have one, it's not there now. Uh, the metal hood, all fits real sharp. Fenders, all metal. You got the nice glass teardrop headlights with the Ford script writing. Uh, under the bra, he says this is an excellent condition. They've kept this on there so it doesn't chip up the paint. Uh, but right now we're looking at the body. Absolutely straight. 
I mean, every square inch of it's straight. I don't see a problem area. I don't see any issues or damage. It's all real nice, straight, no rust, no damage. Lines up real nice. Shuts like a new car. This is all excellent, all metal. No damage, no issues. Now they do have a flush mount antenna. So this little red circle here is the power antenna. They've also molded in, this is custom made, the third brake light. This is all excellent, clean metal. I like that they still have the handles. I like the handles versus a remote popper. They did remove the filler neck and they gave it a flush mount uh, gas cap here. So the body to me is a 10. I don't see an issue with the body. It does look like there's a small, oh, that wiped off. I was gonna say a nick. The paint is practically like red glass. I'm not saying there isn't an imperfection. I haven't found one yet though. This door fits real nice. Also shuts beautifully, stainless pins in the hinges. Yeah, the body and paint's really excellent. Really, really nice on this car. And it's polished like glass, even feels real slick. So any trim, any stainless, any chrome, that's all been replaced or restored. Even at a bra made for the bumper, I swear it's the first time I've ever seen that. Um, we got the, you know, the, for the, keeping the bugs out of the grill and the radiator. Of course, it all comes right off, so if you don't prefer that, it can be removed, but glad they did use it, because now you have a pristine front end. Uh, hand pinstriped, a little blue and gray, just a little something. Uh, some nice custom mirrors. All new smoked glass. It's called a V-butt on the windshield. It's butted together instead of having the chrome strip. Got the rubber covered running boards. I also like when they're painted, you can't touch them. And they always get scratched up. Uh, billet specialty wheels. They're polished like they're new. BF Goodrich tires. These are 15 inch in back. Yeah, probably 15 inch in front, just a smaller tire in front. LED tail lights, chrome bumper. And this handle, by the way, it is a V8, which is pretty cool. So that's the outside of the car. And like I said earlier, the car is timeless. It doesn't have anything that will really date it. No squiggly paint or tweed interior. It looks like it was just built. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, let's open up the trunk, see what we've got. They are using the original type latch mechanisms on the hood in the trunk, which I find kind of cool. Uh, so it's all boxed and upholstered, even under the trunk lid. Uh, it's all boxed here. Obviously, you got a spare tire. I'm sure that's the battery. There's a scuff in the leather right here and one underneath there. Uh, this is really soft. This is like what they use on the uh, airplane seats. New gasket. It's a really, really well-built car. So door jams are slick and the mechanisms are chromed and the weather strips are all new and fits nice. Then you can see the door panel all custom made and upholstered. Uh, it has power windows on the doors. Uh, custom made metal dash, all painted real nice. Nice looking set of Stuart Warner modern gauges. 22,279 miles as of right now. LED indicators, uh, nice custom stereo. This is hand painted, it's not a decal. You got the AC vents, the AC controls, those are backlit, they light up. Um, look at the kick panels, all custom made. Carpet's beautiful with bound edges, matching the leather boot on the low car e brake, billet pedals. It has a uh, digital shift indicator, which is pretty cool. And I love this steering wheel. The old style V8 banjo wheel with the nice soft leather grip. It's on a tilt column and we got cruise control. This is all nice and again, tasteful. The seats, this is soft as they get. <clears throat> 
it's a lever underneath here that uh, lets us flip it forward. You got a full back seat, so this is a uh, easily four adult passengers can ride in this car. It's all carpeted in back, upholstered. It has retractable shoulder belts for the front passengers. Uh, headliners all custom made. It has six by nine speakers all the way in the back there. These do have some armrests in the seat. He has them zip tied up. I don't know if he likes them up and they fall down. I don't know why he has them zip tied. Again, very comfortable, the positioning of the pedals and the column and the seat and just, uh, everything is comfortable, practical. Okay, I just opened this, there we go. Now that there, folks, is a GM crate motor. It's their 350 Ramjet. So what they did, they took their uh, proven 350 motor and it has this modern electronic fuel injection system on top, but this looks like the old style Rochester mechanical fuel injection. So it's old school looking with modern uh, internals. It's all new GM crate motor. So you have the reliability of GM. I mean, they come fully assembled. So all new ignition system. Uh, it's got a set of headers, it's beautiful chromed valve covers, breather, spark plug wire holders, uh, air conditioner, custom pulleys, walker radiator with electric fan, nice clean custom made firewall, uh, stainless steel radiator hose, serpentine belt, chrome alternator. Uh, it does have uh, cruise control. Uh, there's a reservoir for a hydraulic clutch. Uh, there is a power brake booster under the car, so it does have power disc brakes. And there is a power steering hiding way down there. Look under the hood. I mean, just, again, the detail. And this car's been driven. It's the best of both worlds. It's a show car that you know you can get in, go three states away if you want to. Watch how this trunk closes. Just click. Again, very, very well built, well engineered car. There is some extras that go in the trunk that I took out. It looks like another bra or covers and floor mats. Uh, again, original latch mechanism. And I did notice there are a few tiny rock chips. Right now I can't even see them, but when I open the hood, They've been touched up with the right color. I'm, I've never had the bra off. I was told by the owner they're not chipped up, but I mean, maybe there's a couple small nicks that are touched up, but I'm telling you, standing right here, the paint looks perfect. I will spend a little more time. I'll go through the books and uh, pictures, and I'll post that on our website. But this is a high quality, beautiful, timeless build. Get in and drive anywhere. It's a great value. It would cost 200 grand to build today. We're not asking anywhere near that. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help you with your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your door. They'll help you finance it even at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.